The Nobel Prize is one of the most prestigious awards in the world, given each year across various categories like science, literature, and economics, to people whose work has most benefited humankind. In 2021, the Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded to climate scientists for the first time ever. The $1.1 million award was split among three scientists, Dr. Sukuro Manabe of Princeton University, Dr. Klaus Hasselmann of the Max Planck Institute for Meteorology in Hamburg, Germany, and Dr. Giorgio Parisi of the Sapienza University of Rome. But what made their work worthy of the Nobel Prize? Let's start with Dr. Manabe, a pioneer in climate modeling. Climate models use mathematical equations to simulate the chemical and physical processes that influence the Earth's climate. These models allow us to predict the future and change our course if we seem to be heading for trouble. Back in the 1950s and 60s, scientists already knew two things about climate change for sure. One, that carbon dioxide can act as a greenhouse gas by trapping infrared heat radiating from Earth's surface. And two, that carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere appeared to be rising. But the question still remained, would the rising CO2 levels affect the climate at all? And if so, how much? Dr. Manabe's groundbreaking one-dimensional model was the first to look at the interaction between solar radiation and infrared heat radiation from the Earth by studying how air and water vapor, another important greenhouse gas in itself, were distributed vertically in the atmosphere. Warm air tends to rise and carry more water vapor than cold air. If this hot, humid air gets cold again, the water vapor would condense and form clouds. Dr. Manabe's mathematical model showed that while the lower atmosphere was warm, the upper atmosphere was cold. This was a very significant finding, as it disproved the idea that increased solar radiation could be responsible for global warming. Instead, Dr. Manabe's model confirmed the link between rising CO2 levels and the warming atmosphere. Using his model, he estimated that if the concentration of CO2 in the air doubled, the Earth's surface temperature would rise by approximately 2.3 degrees Celsius, an estimate that is on par with most modern-day climate models. Dr. Manabe and his colleague Richard Weatherald published their initial model in 1967, and Dr. Manabe went on to build more complex 3D climate models in the following years, and laid the foundation for the entire field of climate modeling. Dr. Manabe is sharing part of the Nobel Prize with Dr. Klaus Hasselmann, another climate modeler. Dr. Hasselmann created a model that links together weather, which changes day to day, and climate, which is the average of weather conditions and changes over years or decades. Accurately measuring rapidly changing weather conditions in order to calculate an average was a challenge until 1976 when Dr. Hasselman introduced the stochastic climate model. Stochastic means random or unpredictable. As the name suggests, Dr. Hasselman's stochastic model accounted for the random influence of weather events on the climate. This allowed scientists to create more accurate climate models despite the inherent fluctuations in weather. He also developed models to take into account the effect human activities have on the climate thus giving scientists a way to study the complex links between weather, climate, and human activity. The third scientist sharing the Nobel Prize is Dr. Parisi, a theoretical physicist, who is best known for studying spin glass. Spin glass is a type of metal alloy consisting of mostly copper atoms with a few iron or manganese atoms randomly mixed in. These iron or manganese atoms have a magnetic property called spin. Unlike in a regular magnet, a stable system in which all the spins point in the same direction, spin glass is magnetically frustrated, meaning the spins all point in random directions. Yet paradoxically, this disordered system is also very stable, requiring a lot of energy to change the directions of the spins. Physicists attempted to understand this unusually stable system by calculating properties like its energy. They used a mathematical trick which involved creating replicas of the spin glass system and then grouping up the systems based on some shared mathematical property. 
However, due to the complexity of the spin glass system, there seem to be an infinite number of ways to group the replica systems, and any method the physicists tried led to inconsistent results. In 1980, Dr. Parisi was able to deduce a novel method for dividing the replicas into groups, and then into subgroups, and those subgroups into further subgroups, and so on infinitely many times. This hierarchical system gave structure to the seemingly infinite number of possibilities and explained why spin glass is so stable. In order to move from one spin glass state to a seemingly similar replica, you actually have to travel up and down the hierarchical structure, which requires a lot of energy. The complexity and disorder of spin glass mirrors certain real-world systems. Parisi's strategy to understand spin glasses gave scientists a new and structured way to understand complex systems that could be used across all scientific fields. From atomic structures, to biology, to mathematics, to machine learning, and even the climate. The 2021 Nobel Prize in Physics Award is monumental because it is seen not only as recognition of these three scientists, but also of the work climate scientists do around the world. The importance of this award emphasizes that climate change is based in scientific fact and underscores our collective obligation to create solutions before time runs out.